We're turning now to our forecast, and there has been a lot of rain throughout the Midlands over the last day. But how are things going to shape up for your holiday plans? Joining us now is meteorologist Tony Shivaroli. Tony, I'm sure a lot of people are hoping that rain will go away. Yeah, I would say so, Jordan. A lot of travels to be had and honestly a good amount of folks out on the roads already as we're going through just some day to day early morning Wednesday traffic. It is damp out there. Live check on I-26. We are seeing those wet roadways. Please be careful. Still under the cover of darkness right now. As we are going forward, we're seeing this temperature situation really level out today. A lot of you are holding steady currently in the mid and lower 60s for our north and western viewing area. Some 50s have settled in. But overall, we should all just see pretty much high temps in the mid 60s today. So in short, you're going to see a slight rise out towards the west. But if you're towards the south and east, like Orangeburg, Manning, a lot of spots will actually see some temperatures slightly fall into the day. Just the way things are, you know, oddly working out with this front. But with the timing, another live check. First alert satellite and radar. We are damp to kickstart today. Take a look towards the upstate, even towards our counties out towards the west. Newberry, Saluda, looking pretty good now in terms of drying out. But we're still lagging on with this downpour potential. It's very spotty, but it is still in play across Richland County, just getting out of Lexington County, but down to Orangeburg, Calhoun. We see it, of course, to Kershaw, Lee and Sumter. Everything is hanging tight with this front. It has been so slow. It is not gone yet, and we have to take this seriously because it's still making for a little bit of tricky travel. Now, as we are going forward, this morning rain is going to be ending. But it's late morning after sunrise, you know, still a couple more hours away until we're really starting to see this trying to push a little bit more off towards the east. It's still here. We go on, though, into the day afternoon dries out, and that is going to be the big trend, not just for Thanksgiving, not just for Black Friday, not just even for small business Saturday, but we can see this all the way throughout your weekend looking really good as we are seeing high pressure and just some drier air overall taking over. This is now a situation where the future cast, you know, it's going to be trying to interpret a little bit more of the data that is being fed in from what's being picked up by the rain. But the thing is, sometimes it doesn't update the best. And I, of course, will be the first one to correct that and see what I'm thinking. And I think that a little bit more of this is, you know, a little more far fetched in terms of the widespread heavy rainfall. There could still be some embedded downpours. There could still be some downpour activity, but it's going to be cut up a bit more isolated. Still could have some consistent lighter rainfall overall from seven to eight o'clock for our eastern viewing area. Yes. But I don't anticipate, you know, a little bit more of a burst of storms. We should be seeing this front trying to ease its way on. Please be mindful, though. Continue to stay weather aware because you don't want to get caught out in a downpour. And if you're driving in that, you just need to have a little bit more of the awareness around you. Until we see this, we get into Wednesday afternoon and we can say hello, sunshine, as it tries to desperately fight through cloud cover. And that's going to be what we see. It'll be a battle throughout the day. A couple little stray showers can try to sneak in on the tail edge of this front. But as we get this northwest wind to take over, dry air to take over, look at this right dear Thanksgiving. We are drying out. We're looking lovely. How about this end of the day? We continue to see mainly sunny skies, eventually giving way to a few clouds late into tomorrow, but that's it. It's an easy Thanksgiving highs near 61. Some clouds roll in overnight and we could see that with a little stray shower into the morning of Black Friday. So for the early risers shopping, getting out there early, you know, you can see that, but otherwise, barely anything. It is not going to be a day you need an umbrella. You can still have the jacket on throughout the day. Maybe a festive sweater. Have a fantastic Friday getting into again a big shopping weekend. Continue to support, you know, bigger stores if you want, but always try to shop local if you can. Try to mix it in together if you can, right? As we are focusing on that grocery run outlook, we are going to be seeing these conditions settling into just the 60s throughout most of the day. It is going to be a busy day at the store, no doubt about it, but in terms of getting away from that rain, Yes, afternoon is going to be the time to do so. I understand that's a little bit more last minute, but hey, if you want to stay dry, we get overnight. We see the upper 30s. It is going to be colder, crisp into that start of your Thanksgiving, but a beautiful day awaits along with that shopping stretch into the weekend. Make it a great weather stretch of days.